What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds and today we're bringing you an in-depth review video of the 2024 Honda HRV in the EXL trim and we're going to be talking about exterior, interior and specs about this exact car. But before we do, because it is not a sponsored video and we truly need and appreciate your guys' support, please tap that like button and subscribe to our channel. If you have something for us to film, here's our email below. Email us and we will talk details later. A special shout out and a thanks to Auto Nation Honda here at the Roseville Auto Mall in Roseville, California for providing us this beautiful HRV for this review. Keep watching because we're also going to be talking about the price tag and why it's costing you this much. So let's go ahead and talk 2024 Honda HRV EXL. So let's kick this review video off with talking about what's under the HRV hood. Now we have a 2.0 liter four cylinder naturally aspirated engine. And if you ask me, this is probably one of my favorite parts of this car is because they still kept that 2.0 naturally aspirated engine, which again, we know is reliability for Honda. Paired together with a CVT transmission, it is front wheel drive standard with electric power steering and gives you 158 horsepower with 138 pounds feet of torque, everybody. A little bit about the MPG for people who'd like to know, 26 city, 32 highway and a 28 combined. If we come over to the side of the car, let's go ahead and talk some dimensions of the 2024 Honda CRV. Starting with length, you get 182 inches in length, 72 inches in width, and 64 inches in height, everybody. Okay, now what do you guys think? You guys like this 2.0 liter naturally aspirated engine, or we do see a movement of Honda bringing in a 1.5 liter turbo engine that you get in the Civics and the HRVs and things. I mean, not the HRVs, the CRVs, okay? But again, enough of that. Let's go ahead and talk front end on the 2024 HRV in the EXL trim. Being the top trim, you get three trims in the HRV, EXL being the top. Sport is a step down, and then from Sport, you get an LX. So LX, Sport, and EXL. But again, this being the top trim, what do we see? The black gloss grille, very nice. This is different designs from different trims, so keep an eye out for that. You get your bumper sensors on the front of this car. This is EXL exclusive only. And then your painted bezels, okay, with your trim work. It's all the same color as the car, right, to where the other trims have the matte black plastic trims and bezels and things of that sort. LED lighting in the front and also rear lights. We left the hazards on so you guys get an idea with the integrated parking marker lights on this headlight. Let's shoot over to the side. You do have active air vents, okay, for that brake cooling. That trim coming around the side painted wheel well trim in the EXL. You will see different trims. They have the matte black plastic, this being more of an expensive, kind of bougier look, but I like the painted wheel well trims, okay? Let's talk tires. Tires, you get a dual color, a gunmetal uh, gray with the machine surfaced silver. You're running the Hankook Kinergy GTs in a 215-60-17 size tire. Keep an eye out for that. LX and Sport will have two different rims and also the size of the tires are different. What's standard on the HRV themselves in all three trims is the front uh, front McPherson strut suspension. And that is standard that it doesn't have to do just with EXL, but it is LX and Sport as well. Moving forward, the side mirror, again, you will see differences on side mirrors, but on this EXL trim, you have the blind spot assist, heated, the side mirror with the integrated blinker lighting, okay? Different trims will come without blind spot assist and without the blinker lighting, that is the LX trim. But here on the EXL, you get the top of the line tech. The door and what it looks like, no trim work, okay? Liking the fact that they keep that simple. I do not like trim on my doors. And then the rocker panel in that same painted color. Here in the back, Let's go ahead and open up the gas lid. You get the uh, no gas lid cap. I'm a huge fan of that because it just makes it easier to pump your gas in this 2.0 liter engine. And then moving forward to the rear end, but before we do, the back, you have the rear multi-link uh, suspension system here in the back, and then you get the four discs 
uh, on each wheel. So you get the four brakes, okay? You don't have wheel hubs or whatnot. So that is uh, HRV standard. Coming over to the rear, starting from the top, you get the spoiler with the integrated brake lighting, your glass wiper. Right under that, you get the um, camera system. Sorry, the camera system, I'm kind of blanking out right now. Camera system, uh, that is completely HRV standard here in the back. LED lighting here at the back also, and loving that look on the rear tail lights, kind of with the polka dots on the interior side of that headlight. Coming in over from the quarter panel, finishing over on this tailgate. HRV, there is no emblem stipulating or, sorry, stating that it is an EXL trim, but on the Sport, you will have a emblem here on the tailgate. Bumper sensor is going to cross the top side of that bumper cover with your parking reflectors. Again, that is also EXL exclusive to where the LX and the Sport do not get the rear bumper sensors. Finishing it off with that uh, glossy metallic silver look. And again, no exhaust tip here in the back to where the Sport trim has an exhaust here uh, tip on the passenger side. Remember to check out our other videos between trim comparisons, okay? Let's go ahead and lift this tailgate. Uh, talking about cargo area, with the seats up, you get about 24 cubic feet of space. And if we were to drop those seats down, you get about a whopping 55 cubic feet of space in this HRV, okay? On the right-hand side, you get a 12-volt outlet, 180 watt, and your true light lighting. And HRV all comes with spare tires, and I'm a big fan of that because I don't wanna be stranded waiting for people to come change my tire, okay? Let's close that. Now that we're pretty much done talking some specs, exterior and cargo room, let's go ahead and talk interior. So now let's talk interior of the 2024 HRV EXL trim and just get a quick look of what it looks like with the leather perforated wrap on your uh, seats. Very nice coming together with the just kind of all black interior pop up screen with the honeycomb grill. And then let's go ahead and start this car and show you guys what the driver cockpit cluster display looks like, partially digital and partially. Mechanical, your miles per hour gauge is in that manual, okay? But let's go ahead and talk about this interior, starting with the door panel, okay? So the armrest itself comes leather wrapped, control unit for your windows and your side mirrors in electrical controls, your handle in that metallic silver, and a cup holder with some cubby room, all right? On the left-hand side of this manual steering column, you have one button, that is the traction control. Up top, honeycomb grill, finishing off that kind of left-hand side of that dash panel with the leather wrap. In front of us, as mentioned, we have the partially digital cockpit display cluster, and you can go through that info card um, with your controls here on the left-hand side of your steering, and look at that, go through your miles, go through your range, speed, audio, phone, navigation. Let's go ahead and show you guys the compass, okay? go back home and then driver attention, seat belts and all that good stuff, okay? On the right-hand side, you have the cruise control uh, settings. Right behind that leather wrap steering, we have the controls for your windshield wipers and your lighting with your signal light. Moving forward, this is EXL exclusive, a digital screen that is touch sensitive with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay Assist. You got the Bluetooth as well in here. Now let's go ahead and just show you guys how it swipes, very responsive, liking the touch on that. Let's go to all apps. You can go through that, app installer, claw compass, all that good stuff. We go back here. The screen will look different on different trims. Now let's go ahead and show you guys something also is if we go ahead and put this car into reverse, let's just say. You get three different angles on that back camera along with your sensors. If we go ahead and press this little arrow with that box, you get the sensors that activate from a bird's eye view, letting you know what's close while you're parking, okay? That's a very cool feature that we get on the EXL only, okay? Now let's go ahead and put this back into park. Again, and then you got your media settings and all that good stuff. Shoot over to Honda here at Roseville Auto Mall, and they have guys that'll spend their time with you guys. Heated seats in this dual climate control, 
unit, right? And this is what it looks like. We turn it off and on. You got the knob for your fan, and then you can sync the climate controls, modes, and then all that AC buttons and all that. Now, the wireless charging pad comes EXL exclusive as well. You don't get them in the different trims. USB-A plug-in, cup holders, leather wrap center console, three different drive modes, and then you get the normal, the Econ, and the Snow, okay? That is HRV standard. Right under this bridge here on the center console, you have a USB-C plug-in to charge your phone on each side. Not just USB-A, but also two USBs, one on the right and one on the left. Hill decline assist with your electric parking button and a brake hold. Cubby room for your personal belongings. Now, the seats themselves, the only electric controlled seat you get in the EXL trim is the eight-way power adjustable driver seat to where the passenger gets manual, okay? In different trims, you will also see that there is no electric in the other trims. In front of you, you got a non-lockable glove compartment, simple, straight to the point. And then to finish off with this front side, what do you have? You got a tilt and slide sunroof option with the manual visor, again, with this, you will not have in different trims. And in front of that uh, tilt and slider roof sun option, what do you get? You get a uh, garage door uh, option as well here, the power button. You don't get that. And then to finish off, again, I keep mentioning there's just so much to remember, is that you have illuminated visors, right? Now let's go ahead and shoot over to the second row seating and talk about that. So now back row seating in the 2024 HRV, we left the back seats down so you guys get an idea of all this cargo area. 55 cubic feet of space, you can literally fit ski, snowboards, dishwashers, air fryers, whatever you want back here. Now, we're gonna lift the 60% or the 40% or back seats and let's talk back row seating of the HRV. Right off the bat, I'm about six feet, two inches. And space test, you are completely clear. Here at the head, you have way more than enough room. And leg clearance is completely there. Same look coming over from the front to the back in the perforated leather wrap here. That is very nice. And that is EXL exclusive. Car seat compatibility. There is no armrest. Wanted to mention you guys, uh, mention that to you guys so you guys keep an eye out for that. In front of us, we have no pocket on the driver's seat but a pocket on the passenger seat. And in between those two seats, we have a very just simple back of that center console, okay? With just a little bit of cubby room for like a chapstick or something. The door panel itself, what's something we see different on the XL is that tweeter there that is going to upgrade that sound system, just adding a little bit more uh, better sound to the EXL, right? But same look coming over from the front to the back on the door panel. Up top, oh snap handles with some hooks to hang on a dress shirt or a dress or something. And then your touch sensitive lighting to turn on and off as well, all right? Now we're pretty much done with this review. The price tag on this car itself is $29,595 for this EXL trim. And again, yes, you do go cheaper on the lower trims, all right? Keep that in mind. But thank you guys so much for watching our channel here at Vagabond Bills. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, Leave in the comment section below. We'll try to get back to you guys as best as possible. Thanks, guys. Keep watching. We have more cool things coming. God bless.